Hi, my name's Martin Tett. I'm leader of Buckinghamshire County Council. Uh, there's only a short period of time now between uh, where we are today and the 25th of May, which is the final date for the receipt of representations on the proposal to modernise the local government of Buckinghamshire. There's an awful lot of stuff out there for people to listen to and to watch, and I know a number of you went, might have been to various presentations. Uh, there's an awful lot of mythology and a lot of, quite frankly, false facts out there. So what I wanted to try and do is give you a quick presentation on some of the key reasons why we think unitary is a good idea, why we particularly believe it's essential we have one council representing the whole geography of Buckinghamshire, uh, and then also look at some of the ways in which we are making sure that what we're delivering is going to be far more local, better value, and much closer to residents. So let's just run through some of these points. First of all, why change? What's really important to realise is this debate hasn't just started in the last couple of weeks. It's been discussed since 2014 when Aylesbury Vale District Council, one of the district councils, started the debate about going to a unitary style of government. Um, and since then, the County Council has responded to that and we've developed our own business case that was back in 2016. And that was after pretty extensive consultation with residents, uh, with various business groups, we went out to various localities and talked to residents and businesses. And as a result, we got a pretty good idea of what people were looking for in terms of any modernisation proposal. Particularly they wanted one point of contact, a lot of simplification of dealing with what most people just call the council. Most people don't know what districts do, what the county council does. To them it's all just one body that they look to to solve the problems that they have in their day-to-day -day lives. So whether it's a bin being emptied, or whether it's a pothole in the road, or getting the right school for their kids, they just want to talk to the council. And one of the big frustrations people were telling us is, they get passed around. They'll talk to one body, they'll say it's nothing to do with them, talk to somebody else. Quite often, responsibility is a split between different councils, and nobody's accepting responsibility. So we actually recognise the need to bring all these things together and make it much, much simpler for residents to actually get what they want from the local councils that they pay for. So public confusion about who does what, but also an awful lot of duplication. One of the things that residents kept saying to us when we explained what local government looked like was, why have you got the chief executives, highly paid people, running five different councils in the same area? Why do you have five finance departments? Why do you have five legal departments? five HR departments, all of that duplication, when actually you could just have one team looking after the whole of the county, and that would save a shed load of money for residents that could be spent on frontline services. There's also a really key factor here, which is in the good old days, when there was lots of money in local government, some of these inefficiencies you could just basically shrug your shoulders a bit, but the reality today is in a period of what some people call austerity, where government is actually limiting the amount of money they give to local councils. Uh, and in the case of Buckinghamshire, this year in 19, sorry, in, in 20, <laughs> got, got my time right. Um, in 2018, um, there is absolutely no revenue support grant from central government for local councils in Buckinghamshire. So we have nothing coming from central government now. Everything we spend relies on your council tax. Uh, what we have to do is be really efficient with the way we spend that money. So there's no way in the next 10 years we're going to see any change in that. So what we have to do is look ahead and see the way in which we can make the very best use of every pound of taxpayers' money that's coming in. So that's why, with increasing costs, increasing demand, um, and actually no guarantee there's going to be any extra government money, we have to look to be more efficient. We also need to increase the financial resilience of local government. Uh, some of you watching may be familiar with the fact that uh, a council just to the north of us in Northamptonshire, the county council there, faced with growing demand for pressures in adult social care, children's services um, and education, uh, they've effectively gone bust. They've become bankrupt. Uh, and that's a real problem for the whole of local government. The pressures there really are making a lot of the authorities that are responsible for the social care systems in this country really, really struggle financially. So what we want to do is make sure that we have a system in place that actually becomes financially resilient and sustainable into the future. All of these factors together are really driving a need to become far more efficient and that means moving to a unitary style of government. There were two options put together over that period of time. So back in 2016, 
the county council developed a business case. We looked at all the options, one authority for Buckinghamshire, looked at two authorities for Buckinghamshire, we even looked at three potential authorities for Buckinghamshire and modelled through exactly what that would mean in terms of savings and increased efficiency. We put forward that proposal in September 2016 to government and it's a well proven model. This is not something new or radical. This is a system that operates quite widely now across the country and it operates on a proven basis and it's really efficient and it's effective and even though it's been in place for a number of years, nobody has changed it. So it works really well. Our district colleagues came forward with a different proposition in January 2017 in response to the business case that we put in and what they suggested was breaking up Buckinghamshire, effectively reducing it to a sort of postcode, uh, a bit like Middlesex is today, uh, and having instead a, a, a northern unitary based around Aylesbury uh, and a southern unitary based around High Wycombe. Uh, and that proposal went in and both those were with government uh, for a period of about a year to be evaluated. About seven or eight weeks ago, the government came back with their conclusion, having looked at all of the information we'd given them in terms of market research and those business cases, uh, and they came out with a very clear decision. What they said was that they recognised that the new single council was the best way to actually improve local government services.